What up guys? Round three, Monster Energy Supercross, San Diego, Snapdragon Stadium. It's retro weekend. Rob D and the team have the bikes looking pretty good. Cruising, man. San Diego brings back some pretty good vibes. 2018, first ever 250SX main event. It was pouring rain. We might have a repeat of that tonight with some weather, but uh, for now, we're just gonna enjoy it, hang out, spectating, and catch the action, and uh, have some fun. Let's go. Retro kit this weekend, Ron. Yes, sir. Practice one already done. Yeah. How was the course? The course is mint. Um, yeah, the course is prime. session and it started raining coming down and uh man within seconds the track was ice so tried to get my first two three laps in and i think i had an 11th in our practice i don't know if anyone was faster than me in the previous practices but uh all in all the racing is coming down right now so we'll, we'll see how she goes <laughs> What are we doing, Ron? It's warming up in the cold, baby. We had a little bit of rain. It did come down one practice session. Yep. I got a few clips. Yeah. Looking pretty good. Yeah, feel good. Bike's good. Track's good. A little muddy, but uh, you know what? It is what it is, baby. We're still going to have some fun, right? Yes, we are. Um, I noticed the bike had no hand guards. Yeah, I just running it, you know? Don't, don't, don't need hand guards. No hand guards? Okay. Yeah. We were wondering, mud prep, Eric? Anything anything different than normal? Up close to find out. There he is. Good luck, brothers. Thank you. Crush it. All right, Eric. Here we are. Another mud race. Do we do anything uh, special to Ron's bike? Absolutely. We did uh, a bunch of different things. We put a uh, whole bunch of foam everywhere, sprayed it all down, got everything nice and slippery in some mm -hmm. areas, and then uh, nice and dry in other areas okay yeah i see we got a little bit of foam right here so mud doesn't pack in his uh foot peg or under his brake pedal it's definitely definitely a good idea um we didn't get much practice for today so random question what's your uh favorite tool in this big old toolbox of yours right here i would say there's a couple okay all right show me so any of the uh, Weeha brand sockets. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Um, those are very nice. Uh, personal touch of mine, the one that I actually made myself, is for the actual castle nut on the steering stem. So oh, these guys like weird. a specific torque. So I kind of had some. I made this up, and that's the other one. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. All right, Cole. What's up? What uh, you're Robbie's teammate for this year, so we had some peeps ask. So we just want to introduce you and. Uh, where you're from and what's your best supercross finish main event um my name is cole thompson i'm from uh Brickton, ontario canada a little town just uh in ontario there and uh grew up racing supercross i'm kind of the old guy now in the field uh i've been doing it since 2012 this would be my 15th season so uh ended up coming here last year when robbie uh switched teams and then obviously got the call back to come back and do another season with them and now we're here for year two with the solitaire people and 
forward to a, a good year with Robbie. Obviously, uh, raced him quite a bit in the last two years doing West Coast myself. So it's kind of uh, fun to uh, have a new uh, teammate and someone that we can uh, kind of bounce ideas off of and uh, I don't know, mix it up during the week. Sick. All right, so your best Supercross finish? Best Supercross yeah. Fifth place, uh, 2014 Toronto. Okay, tight. Yes. Hometown. Yeah. Um, best overall, sixth overall in 2013. Okay, let. Uh, as far as being teammates with Robbie, what is the uh, what's the best? What's one of the best things and one of the worst things? Uh, there is nothing worse. He's a great guy. Um, you can tell there's gotta be something. You gotta piss you off some way. No, no, it's all right. It doesn't it's matter. Hard to say. Um, no, honestly, uh, we hit it off uh, right away. I think we both kind of were in similar situations. I was racing in Australia. He was racing in Australia. Both kind of foreigners. Uh, kind of group tight there and then coming back to the state side we kind of uh we just hit it off it's almost like uh stepbrothers as you would call it um but no it's been good having him as a teammate obviously you can learn a lot from he's younger uh, a little bit more uh, jazzed up at the races and uh it's good to keep me uh keep me going bye good eric got her dialed we're dialed baby okay dialed. heat number two coming right up baby uh, uh tear offs or roll offs no one tear offs, I think. No rain, so I think we're gonna stick with the tear offs. You think it's gonna be jumpable out there? We're about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> heat two, I guess you could watch heat one and be like, all right, I can hit it. We'll let you know in about, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes. All right, cool. Pin it. Yeah. Hit this thing. Burp, burp. P8, Ron. How were the conditions? Conditions are a bit muddy, as you can see, but... Yeah, we were watching 450 um, Heat 1. Yeah, not bad. It is what it is, right? Stuck with tear-offs over roll-offs? Stuck with tear-offs, but, uh, yeah, I was just trying to ride and just survive out there, you know? So, Any changes you want to make for the main? Uh, just loosen up a little bit, ride a little better, not being so timid. Yeah. Oh, we'll get it. We'll I think that'll be good. Just keep it on two and you'll be dialed. Yeah, it was yeah. smooth. Finish line looked good. Yeah,
San Francisco. It just looks like everybody, oh, he had a great start too. He just got into the top block. It went, went off the track. He had an, an incredible start. What a bummer. Kitchen on the Super Cross Big Speed with the 47 brand new team, brand new bike this year. He's dealt with it very well. He averaged 9.4 in his first nine 250 starts. He's averaged 2.5. We're getting Gary Marchbanks in third. He turned the fastest laps in five of us. We're not quite the fastest, but the fastest lap on that last lap. Not in the third, not around the jury's He's coming up. He's going to be five seconds after the week. Good morning, Gary. He's running the ball down. He's just sorry. Got to the back of the match. He made a mistake. To Kurt's point, the 26 of Marchbanks has got to be a little patient, but it's such a fun line for the battle. He makes the pass. Hampshire makes a mistake. Oh, Marchbanks in the lead.